Hi, I'm Caitlin. And I'm Courtney. And we're with Creative Creations. Today we are teaching virtual class 23. This is the Prima Capri two-page layout that we are so excited about. Mm -hmm. It's going to be an awesome class featuring Prima marketing mm -hmm. papers, embellishments, and flowers. Yes. So we're going to go over our kit content and um, what um, you need to complete the class, and then we'll jump right in. And if it's your first time, it's gonna be super breezy. We make sure we take our time on each step mm -hmm. because it's super easy steps for such a beautiful outcome. Mm -hmm. So Courtney's gonna pull out our um, instructions. instructions. Mm -hmm. Yes. So on the front, you can see we have our picture of our beautiful layout. And then on the second page, you can see we have all the items included in the kit and then what you will need as well. So we are going to start with the Prima Capri, the blue and white wash 12 by 12 paper. So this is your blue and white wash. And then we have a peach and brown wash. This one? Yes. And then we have the postcard 12 by 12 paper. This one? And the travel as much as you can 12 by 12 paper, which is a bonus. Oh. This one. And the coral blue wash 12 by 12 paper, which is also a bonus. And the light and truth 12 by 12 paper, which is also a bonus. Oh, yes. Yes, that's the last one. <laughs> Okay, and then we have the Prima Capri chipboard stickers. Yes. The Prima Capri Say It in Crystals. These are beautiful iridescent crystals. They're so pretty. And then we have the Prima Flowers in Lazzarato. Lazzaretti? Lazzaretti? <laughs> Reto? Oh. Perfect. And then we have the Amalfi flowers. And we have the Pretty Mosaic Coastal Surf flowers. Mm -hmm. The Prima Capri Ephemera. That's a lot of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> the Dusty Attic Layered Corners Chipboard. Yes. The Dusty Attic Enjoy the Little Things Chipboard. Perfect. The Dusty Attic Always Find Time Chipboard. The Embelly Scrap Vine Chipboard. The Y Seneca Circle with Corner Chipboard Frame. Perfect. And lastly, the 8.5 by 11 White Cardstock. <laughs> And then what you will need from your own supplies is a 12 by 12 trimmer, some pop dots. We use for the trimmer, we use the Fiskars, yeah. the Fiskars shirt cut trimmer. I just have pop dots, okay? Okay, the pop dots, a liquid adhesive. We use the Art Glitter Dry as Clear Glue. Yes. And some brown ink. And I use Tim Holtz just as just just oxide. And this will be to color your chipboard and to ink the edges of your photo mat. When, when we get there. Yeah, when we get there. Okay. So are we waiting for people to hop yeah, on? Yeah, no, we're good. Okay. So we're gonna start with um, step one. We're gonna grab the Prima Capri Pre Peach and Brown Wash 12 by 12 paper. What's on the other side? Okay, so it's got the flowers on the other side, and then we have that one. And we are, this is gonna be our layout one, and we're gonna use the trimmer to remove the hanging barcode strip at the top. That's just where you see the hole at the top, just that little, I think it's one inch, we'll, we'll see. But just on that line, right on that strip, we're gonna three cut quarters. that off. Okay, so it's three quarters of an inch. You'll see the defined line between the paper and the barcode mm -hmm. strip. Okay, and we are going to be using the white side with the flowers around the border as our front of our layout one. Okay, 
Now we are going to get our dusty attic layered corners. All right, we are going to select the left corner piece. This one right here. Okay, and we are going to ink it with our brown ink thoroughly. I'm gonna use my, cause I don't have a placemat with me today, so I'm gonna use my bag as my placemat. Just so we don't get it all over our table and our fingers and ruin our layouts. So we're just gonna do it on here. And I've almost got half of mine just to turn the thing over. <laughs> Turn what over? The ink pad. Oh, maybe. I mean, you could try. Nah, I'm almost done. Okay. <laughs> we always use the distressed, distressed oxide vintage photo. Like that is our go-to brown for any layout. It just it goes great with any any layout you do. So that's our go-to. We always have one in a drawer somewhere. Okay. All right. So we got that all inked up, and we are going to adhere it at the top right corner of the layout. Okay. Just make sure your layout is facing the correct way. There's words at the top left that you should be able oh, to read. Oh, there's an angel too. Oh, and there's an angel, yeah. I think we're covering the angel. <laughs> yeah. The top right corner. And I re we really like this Art Glitter Dries Clear Glue because even if it seeps through these little holes in the mm -hmm. corner thing, you won't see it. Yeah, and it dries matte too. So it's clear and matte, so there's no shiny residue left over that you will see. And it's perfect for small embellishments and getting in the little hard spots. And make sure, making sure every little piece is adhered to your page. It's perfect. Okay, and we have that here. Now we are going to, with the embellished scrap vine chipboard. So right there, the top right. Pretty. And we are going to get the embellished scrap vine chipboard and we are going to ink it with the brown ink as well. That is this one. It's a cute little piece. Yeah. It's got little, lots of little extras. Yeah, I would say it's a little delicate, so you want to be a little bit careful. Well, it, they're already coming off. I'm just taking off all the little extra things. The inside pieces. Yeah, I don't see yeah. any more. That, <laughs> that vase doesn't pop away. No. <laughs> Is it ink the ink? Yeah, we're gonna ink it and then we're just gonna set this piece aside to dry. We should have done that with the first one. So right now we're just doing all of our hard inking just to get that out of the way. We are so excited though, today is Friday. We had a long week. It was actually a fun week though. Our uncle got married. Uh, Tuesday, so that was really fun to see all the family. It was a cute little small wedding, and it was just so much fun. And don't be afraid to comment. We'll, we'll be there. Mom's on the computer. She'll answer all your questions. So um, if you say slow down, we'll slow down. But feel free to say something in the comments. Say hi. Okay. Okay, so we're going to set that aside to dry. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to grab the Dusty Attic Enjoy the Little Things chipboard. Mm -hmm. And we're going to ink the front with the brown ink. I'm going to leave this one in its backer. Just cuts a little delicate. Just because I feel like it. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's coming out nice. I found a new thing to do. <laughs> So 
So I just figured out <laughs> that I was dabbing it because the chipboard does soak up the ink pretty fast. Mm -hmm. So I'm really worried about it. But then I started twisting at the same time as I'm dabbing it down, and it's actually getting more on there, getting a lot more ink yeah, on there. Yeah, rather than just trying to dab a whole bunch on there. Yeah, so you've done. Okay, yeah. perfect. Okay, we're gonna set that aside. Uh huh. And now we're gonna get our vine back out, and we are going to adhere at the bottom left corner of the layout, but not covering the flowers. So just at the bottom left corner of the white page in the center. On the left? On the left bottom corner, yeah. It probably needs glue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I actually like your brown better than that brown. Yeah. And the thing with these oxides as well is they kind of, as they dry, they kind of shift and change color a little bit. So it gives them that, I guess, oxide effect. Vintage effect. Yeah, yeah. vintage effect. They look really cool. Mm-hmm. No, that's okay. Mm, we're covering it up. Okay. So I dropped mine a little bit, but, <laughs> and so it was smeared some ink, but we're going to put flowers there, so it's totally fine. Oh, you can't see it. <laughs> so it's down the bottom left corner, staying in that inner frame area yeah. is the easiest way yeah. to explain that, because we don't want to cover up the beautiful flowers out here on the outside. Perfect. All right. Okay, now we're going to pop out the Enjoy the Little Things chipboard that we just inked. Okay. And we're going to adhere at the bottom right corner of the layout, but again, not covering the flower. So just at the bottom right of the white center inner part of the layout. Sometimes it's easier to pull away the backer from the word instead mm -hmm. of pulling the back, the word from the backer. Yeah. That's a pretty thing. Oh man, it's got little things. Oh, you can use your details as you're spoken out. It's all right, my fingers oh. work. Okay. This is such a pretty summary kit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're going to adhere that the bottom right corner of the layout, but not covering the flowers, so just on the inner white part. I, I did start tracing the letter, and I was like, that is a waste of time. <laughs> just kind of put it anywhere you can on this thing. Yeah. There's skinny letters. But that's what that glue is great for. And we yeah. even have a little metal tip on the top that makes it even more finer. So it doesn't run out as much. It comes, it's kind of a, it's kind of controlled when you're putting glue on something. Perfect. All right. All right. So next from the Prima Capri blue and white wash 12 by 12 paper. Uh-huh. We're going to cut a six and a quarter by four and a quarter photo, photo mat. And you want to get mostly the tan parts, not necessarily the blue. Yeah, so I'm unless cut, you like the blue. A I'm lot. gonna cut from the bottom left corner. Okay. Yeah. So I kind of like the blue, but so that was six and a quarter by four and a quarter. Perfect. And we're going to pop it in the middle of the layout horizontally. So get your pop dots and we're putting it on the opposite of the tan side. So the other side that's really colorful. Put some pop dots on there and we're going to pop dot in the center of our page horizontally. Okay. 
So this kit was actually made by mom this time. I know we had a a couple weeks in a row that it was a kit that I made, but mom made this one. Well, she made the last one too. Did she? Oh, yeah, yeah the Blessed Beyond Measure. Yeah, that one. Um, it's been a long two weeks. <laughs> But yeah, she made this one as well, and it's beautiful. I mean, I love all the different colors in it. Okay, so yeah, we're just gonna pop dot that one horizontally uh, in the middle of our page. Oh, it was good to get those chipboard pieces in because it really sets um, the mood of where the photo mat goes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Oh man, those are a bunch of words. Okay, from the Prima Capri Ephemera, which is the baggie of loose pieces, yes. We are going to locate the large flower bundles with two pink and one cream colored flower. Yeah, we're gonna be digging in these, so feel free to leave them out. <laughs> That would be this one. Yes. Okay, and we're mm -hmm. going to pop dot at the bottom left of the title so it curves around the swirl. So there's our title at the bottom right. We're going to put it around the, the T in the word things, and it's gonna curve around the swirl of the T and things. Perfect. So it's right down there. Okay. okay, so next from the Prima Cafri Ephemera, we're going to locate the single cream flower. It's like a light pink. Well, I guess it's, it's a green. light pink cream color, yeah. Okay, and we are going to pop dot it so it is below the previous piece in between the large pink and the small pink flower, overlapping a bit. Mm hmm. Okay, that's gonna go right whoop, here. Yes, perfect. Okay. Okay, now we're on step 11 from the Prima Capri Ephemera. Locate the butterfly facing the right. Whoa, whoa, sir, come back. Oh, there might be another one. Oh, no. oh man, look at this piece. That's pretty. That's not our piece for something. I know, but it looks pretty. So there's two butterflies, it's closed wings. He's flying to the right. Yeah, looking to the right. Okay, we're going to pop dot on top of the printed butterfly to the right of the title. Oh, I see. Perfect. Oh, on top of the printed one. Yeah. I see. Nice. This one right here. Perfect. All right. Now we're gonna locate the butterfly facing the left, so the other one you just had. And we're gonna pop dot to the left of the word enjoy. Okay. On the title. Mm -hmm. Enjoy. Oh, I see. Yeah. Perfect. Next to the E and enjoy. Okay, now we are going to go to Feel the free to pause. You should be able to pause if you need to pause. But I think we're going at a good speed. Yeah, I think we're doing okay. Okay. Because we're going a little slow, I think you are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Locate the flower vine set. I don't know what, what it looks like. Go ahead. Okay. And we are going to pop dot at the right of the photo mat, so it is also overlapping the photo mat yeah, a bit. This one. Here's this one. You said pop dot? Yes. Okay. Pop dot at the right of the photo mat so it is also overlapping the photo mat a bit. You can't find it, can you? Mm -mm. I see. Oh. I see. <laughs> so the I pop dots, yeah, yeah, the pop dots are sitting on the oh, background right. paper, not on the photo mat. So the rest of that vine flows onto the yeah. photo mat. That way it's not too bulky. Yeah. Okay. So now we are going to grab our chipboard stickers. Okay. And we're going to pop out the pink flower vine set on the front. P 
pink flower vine set found. Mm -hmm. Okay. These are stickers, so they've already got the adhesive yes, on Yes, but we're actually going to put a pop dot on it. Okay. So we're going to pop dot that vine set okay. uh, to the right of the previous vine, so it also overlaps a bit. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. From the chipboard stickers again, we're going to pop out the pink flower with the gold foil on the front. Uh-huh. Just got a gold foil outline. And we're going to place at the bottom left of the chipboard vine piece. Okay. Not with the pop It out. is also on top of the printed large pink flower. Mm-hmm. All those words meant right there. <laughs> We try to do as much detail as possible. In the corner. <laughs> and that was no pop dot, so it already had the adhesive yeah, on it for no that one. Yeah, there's no pop dot on that one. Okay. Okay, from the chipboard again, we're going to pop out the white and pink flower duo on the front. Okay, it's up here in the corner. And we're going to pop dot at the top left of the previous placed flower so that the white flower overlaps the pink and the light pink flows upward at a slant. Just like this. So if you can see it, the light pink's this one flowing upwards while the white's just the one overlapping mm -hmm. the pink we put. All right. Okay, from our Prima Flowers Amalfi, we're going to select the top left printed flower. They're kind of in a little, you pull them out and they're kind of, you can pull it out and they're kind of stuck to the chip, to the, Paperback, Backer. so it's a little bit easier. Yeah, so the top left printed flower. Compared to like the 49 Market flowers, they're just yeah. kind of like in the package. Yeah. These are like assorted and positioned yeah. in the package. They don't, they don't really squish all together. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to here at the bottom right of the layout. Okay. So directly on that bottom right corner. Perfect. And we're just using our art glitter glue. He's kind of all the way down there. Yeah, it blends in with that flower down yeah. there. I just realized. Yes. Okay, so again from that same flower pack, we're going to um, select the top right script flower. It's got some words written on the flower, so we got that one. Mm -hmm. And we are going to adhere on the vine chipboard uh -huh. piece at the bottom of the flower pot. So right on top of that flower pot, it's at the bottom of our vine. Ooh. Mm -hmm. And hopefully that ink is dry dry enough yeah. for that glue to stick. Yeah, for it in here. <laughs> and it did. Yeah. That looks good. Yeah. That was impressive. All right. Okay, so from the cream of flowers and mouthy again, we're going to uh -huh. select the bottom right printed flower. Well, this one fell off, so I'm trying to hold it. Oh. Down here. And we are going to adhere. It's got pointed edges. At the top of the vine chipboard. So it is between the chipboard and the photo mat. Hold on. They got runaway things. Oh, the gold balls. Mm -hmm. They're still on there. You said nowhere now? Uh, in between the top of the vine and in between the vine and the photo mat. Okay. The top of the, in yeah. <laughs> I should have just read it again. At the top of the vine chipboard, so it's between the chipboard and the photo mat. Oh, I see. Mine could have gone over a little bit. That's fine. Yeah. So literally that top was right here, my chipboard piece. And the glue is in the space between those yeah. two pieces. Okay. We're going to select the bottom middle teal flower. Okay. And adhere below the previous place flower, so it is still between the chipboard and the photo mat. These will overlap pieces, and that's just fine. Mm. 
cute. I like that tie-in of blue. Yeah, the teal. Especially when we haven't like mm -hmm. used teal yet. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna select the middle left teal flower. And if you get the top of the photo mat on the left. Oh, maybe this one was over here. Mm. This so one. The other teal one. Mm -hmm. And we're going to adhere at the top of the photo mat on the left. Okay. So right above the photo mat on the left. It's hard to write that because you think, oh, they're going to think the left side. Like all the way to the left. Yeah. Or all on the photo mat. Yeah. Yeah. And I like there's even two different kinds. Here's a pointed petal and here's a rounded petal. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now from the Prima Flowers Lazaretto, we're going to locate the four rounded petal printed flowers. Okay. These are kind of a mess. <laughs> just <laughs> kind of like the ephemera. I'm just going to put the stuff. Okay. Well, I think it's okay. Come on, sir. Okay. We're looking for what? The four rounded petal printed flowers. Okay. I think it's going to be. Oh, I think it's going to be the lighter ones. Yeah. One, two. Oh, my dude got smushed. <laughs> oh, wait, that's something else. Oh. I think so three. Two right there. I'm looking for a fourth one. Look, it's these guys. One. Yeah. One, two, three. These are script. Oh, it is the guy. The I guy that got so. smushed. Yes. Oh, squished guy. <laughs> I'll okay. fix them. Something happened to him, but he's going to survive. Okay. So they're all the ones that have this light flower color print. There's four of them. Yeah, and they have rounded petals. petals. Mm -hmm. Like this Can one's got a heart like shape. One? No, that's great. Okay, okay. This one's got a heart shape. All right. Me. Okay. So with one of them. Just pick one up <laughs> and then we're going to adhere one to the left of the placed pink flower at the bottom left of the layout. Okay. What? That's what it says. Oh, we didn't put that one, did we? It's not here. Okay. So back to our chipboard. We're no, going to back get... in the ephemera. Oh, is that what it's from? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hold on. Two steps back. You need... This light no. pink, yes, this light pink right here. And you're going to pop dot it because I missed a step. And kind of make sure the rosebud's kind of like facing the right way. So I like the rosebud to face upwards. And it's going to go at the bottom in between the printed large and medium. Yeah, right underneath your flower pot. That's very good. <laughs> Literally directly underneath your flower pot, pop dotted. And he was just one little guy that we missed, but we got him there now. Otherwise, it's going to be really hard to place this next flower. <laughs> okay, so place the small script around a flower. Oh, you want a small script. Okay. What? These are... Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah? The, pr the printed ones. The ones we had. Did it say script? No, it said printed. Okay. Never mind. To okay. the left, the placed pink flower at the bottom left. To the right. Okay. That's what the picture is. Well, that's what the thing says left. <laughs> the typer. I fell asleep during between <laughs> step four and five. <laughs> so there's the one we just placed, and then here's a printed one mm -hmm. right to the right of it. Okay, you're going to grab another one and adhere at the top of the photo map to the right of the place teal flower. I like I like at least one of the petals to like overlap mm -hmm. the photo map. Well, and the other guy. It gives the other flower. Yeah, yeah, and it gives a little bit of more um dimension and fullness to the yeah. corner. They're like they're hardly even touching, <laughs> but they are, I promise. Okay. Okay. You're going to hear another one at the top right of the photo mat where the ephemera vine and chipboard vine meet. Oh, you meant on the right. Yeah. Oh, I meant on the right. I was looking up there. 
So this is going on the ephemera piece directly mm -hmm. on it to the left of the chipboard fine piece. Just makes it look like a whole fuller piece. It brings it together. At least it really does. Okay, and our last, oh, right here. Mm hmm Okay. Okay, and our last guy, we're gonna adhere halfway down the page on the right, not covering the flower border. It will be about a half an inch in the bottom right corner. Okay. Say it again. It'll adhere halfway down oh, I see the it. page, I see it. the bottom right, not covering the bottom flower border. It will be about half an inch from the bottom right photo mat corner. Mm -hmm. That is very. So it's by the. <laughs> because I want to do all the same kind at a time. So, like those other ones, Grandpa. I went. could see. So this one, there's like this tan flower printed here. Yeah. It's gonna go right there. He's next kind of to floating it. out on the yeah, side. Yeah, we're gonna oh, fill we, we in got around more him. putting around there, but so about yay yeah. far from that corner, and about yay <laughs> far from that printed flower. Okay, it's kind of funny because I hold it up, and it's like I'm a floating. Yeah, I'm a talking lamp. So from our Lazaretto flower pack, which uh -huh. is what we have out now. Yeah. We're going to locate one rounded petal script flower, which okay. has the words written on it. Yes, yes. Can you see it? Okay. Yeah. We're going to adhere to the right of the cream ephemera flower at the bottom left of the layout. Yeah. Oh, right of the cream ephemera flower. Right here. Right? Yes? No, no. I think no. I'm talking about this one. No, we already did that one. Tell me again. Adhere to the right of the cream ephemera flower at the bottom left of the layout. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put it right here. Right underneath the swirl. Yeah. So underneath, enjoy, yeah, that order there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> underneath that swirl right there, we're putting this piece. All right. Mm -hmm. ah. Oh, I thought that came off. Yes, it did. I think it did. <laughs> And then put him back. Oh, he's good now. Okay. Okay, we're going to locate one pink pr uh, pointed flower. Okay. And we're going to adhere at the top left of the photo mat to create a corner with the previous placed flowers. You so notice? right between the teal and the pretty printed one. Mm -hmm. I had to refrain myself from saying uh, triangle because I wanted oh. your instructions. You guys saying making a triangle because the flowers like if you put three. Oh yeah, here like, she goes. Like she likes the triangles. You know, it makes like a triangle, but it's like <laughs> it's like satisfying, you know, because threes. You only write things in the threes. Just looks pretty to the eye. So ah, yeah, triangle it makes a triangle. Okay, so from the Prima Flowers Lazaretto, we're going to locate two rounded petal teal flower, flowers, uh -huh. the round ones. Mm -hmm. We're going to hear one at the top of the photo mat to the right of the small printed flower. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the other one? And the other one at the bottom of the vine ephemera on the right. Mm -hmm. Hold on, glue's drying. Our first one is up here, just lengthening that row of flowers. Yeah. And the second one is directly below this ephemera um, piece. And the floating guy, kind of. And the floating guy. Yeah. <laughs> and it's kind of, the petals are overlapping that, that uh, photo mat as well. Yeah. Okay, and the second one, oh, we already did that. Okay, yeah. From the Prima Flowers Lazaretta, look at two rounded petal pink flowers. Okay. And they might be different sizes. I think there's a smaller mm -hmm. one and a bigger mm -hmm. one. We're going to hear the larger one at the right of the photo mat in between the two printed flowers. Oh, over there, they're closer together. I see. Mm -hmm. It's okay, we always manage to do something wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you mean do something different? Different. Yeah. And the second one. Okay. Oh, oh you want to show it? Go ahead. Okay. And the second one at the bottom of the vine ephemera. 
underneath the teal. Mm. Oh. <laughs> okay. The first one was a pink, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and I put mine right here. So here's the first printed, and my second printed was all the way over here. And on the sample, hers was like here. No, 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 no. You pointed the wrong one. I did? It's this one. Uh-huh. And this one. And yeah, this no, one. I was explaining the printed oh, oh, flowers. Oh, 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 Yeah. To be in the between. Yeah. And then the second one's down here in the corner. Oh, well, they're in the right place. That's yes. all that matters. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And so now we're going to get the Say It and Crystals. Oh, yeah. They're pretty Crystals. And starting from the top, we're going to select nine large crystals. Oh, it's, oh, that was easier explaining. Just like start from the top and work your way down. Otherwise, you're like you're looking for the light blue and the dark blue. And there's all kinds of pretty colors. Yeah. And they all match. Well, you so can't even tell once they're on the page. You know, Don't worry about that. Okay, so what did you tell me? Okay, so we're going to start from the top. Mm -hmm. We're going to get nine large crystals. Arrange eight of them on the corner chipboard. Uh-huh. Um, and we mainly just put them, the, the guy stick. No, because I left his glue over oh. here. <laughs> <laughs> ah, just got make it. sure you get the glue with the, <laughs> with the crystal or else it won't stick. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, you want to show them how it's arranged on that oh. one? Oh. Okay, so on our example. Did you know? We mainly just have them on all the corners and then sporadically in the middle and on the sides. And then our last one is on top of the vine. You can kind of see them over here, right on top of where the vines meet on the top, on that, on that triangle, on that triangle? Yeah. Yeah, right at the top where they meet. But on ours, you can't see that part. So I don't know if we'll put it. Oh, we can put it at the bottom though. Can we, can we wait till we get there? Okay, I'll wait till we get there. But. Um, I believe there will be, will there be some left over? Do you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There will be? Yeah. Okay. I mean, like, after the second page. Don't put yeah. all of them, because we need some for the second page. No, look, it said eight. I'm putting eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. I got two more. I know, but I'm saying you think there will be more after we're done with the whole two. Yes. You could even add some of your diamond dots if you wanted there's my corner. Okay, what do I yeah. do with my ninth one? You put it on here. Mm -hmm. Oh, at the top of the yeah, thing? Yeah, but okay. you can't see ours, so you can put ours down there. Oh, true. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay, I wasn't really listening. I could tell. Okay. So I covered up the top of my mine piece, so now. we put it at the bottom. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Okay, and that is layout one. Oh, yeah, I we're nice. We are done with it. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm always impressed with myself. Like, I know. Ooh, why did that? That was easy. That was. Yeah. Okay, so now hold on one take a little drink. Maybe clean up your area a little bit. Okay. We are going to get our Prima Capri postcard 12 by 12 paper. Hold on, it's got pop dots on it. The postcards will be your background for layout two. So this will be your front. Mm -hmm. We're going to use a trimmer and remove the barcode strip. So just that top three quarters of an inch piece. Okay. I'm not even sure what you would call it, a hanging tag <laughs> piece. I got a squeaky chair. Yeah, me too. Okay. Okay, and from the dusty attic layered corners, select the top and bottom pieces, which are the more skinnier corner pieces. This one, this one. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna ink them with the brown ink. Oh man, what? these are delicate dudes. Yeah, they're like more intricate, yeah. <laughs> Would you like to tell them about our virtual kit club? Yes. So if you love taking our classes, do you know about it? 
I know about most of it. Okay. I don't know about the price though. Okay. Uh, Bring that in. Well, don't tell them what the price is. So you okay. Can tell them after. <laughs> so we had this brand new kit collab that we just announced previously a couple emails ago, I believe. Um, so if you love doing our kits, you'll love this even better because you'll save money and you'll still get to do our kits. Uh, so it's a kit club that you pay for monthly. Um, it includes two kits each month. Um, just like these. Just like these. And they're always original you and different. You get exclusive um, sneak peeks of what they are and you can opt out of certain kit months if you don't like them and we won't charge you. Um, it's a great deal. You save a bunch of more money and if you want to buy more, don't they get first dibs on you the get extra? Yes, and you get 10% yeah, off so if you, you get, want to add to your package that's coming up. Yes, your box. and they will always arrive They will always arrive in time for the videos. There's no need to freak out like you ordered it too, um, too late. So they'll always arrive in time for the videos. Not that the videos go anywhere, but you'll get them on time. You get to watch us live. Um, what else? I think that's it. It's, that about sums it up. Yeah. But all and the details a, are on our a, website. Yeah, there was a big email sent out, and the details are on the website. Yeah, it's right at the top under virtual kit. Yeah, and it's how much? $49.99. Yeah, $49.99. It's a great deal. Does it include decorating? You have advanced questions. Okay. Okay. Well, it's $49.99. You can cancel any time. You can just do it for one month just to see, you know, if you liked it if you well they would like it if they like these kits it's like a surprise do. though because well not really because you get the email <laughs> about well, what the like kits if you will don't be. pay attention you, oh you, if you don't pay you, attention and let it run roll. the card you know you go and then you get in the mail it's like surprise you know we just sent you a gift with your card money. <laughs> <laughs> with your own money <laughs> that's funny yeah but we've been wanting to do something like this for a long time we just haven't you know it was all about the details. It was all about, yeah, it was all about details and working stuff out. And, but, and we didn't want to do like a whole bunch of kits. We thought two was good because. Well, it depends on like the months. I had to look at the, our calendar, what we usually make. Yeah. Because we do every other week, every other Friday, yeah. and then we're going to start moving it to Saturdays. But every other week, we have a class that we're teaching. So some months, those weeks are kind of off. I mean, that makes that means there'll be three some months. That means there's two. So we had to commit to at least two. Mm -hmm. But there will always be um, extras. And if yeah. there's a third one, you get to know about the third one too early. Yeah. Okay. And you'll still get a discount on that third one. Yes. yes. Okay. So tell me what okay. I'm doing my corners. So we just inked our corners. Mm -hmm. And we are going to adhere one at the top left corner of the layout. And one the bottom left corner. Wait, no. Top left. Top left, bottom right. Yes. Okay. Top left corner, bottom right corner, adhered. Oh, man. Hmm. This one is... Intricate? Yeah. It's a pretty piece, though. I'm just pretty like, anywhere the thing can touch. Now, I think if it was me... <laughs> Interesting. I would have cut them in half to make Oh, I thought you were going to tell me something to do. Out of one corner. Oh, yeah, I see. Because they're... um. Oh, what's that word? Asymmetrical. Asymmetrical? Yeah. Mirrored? Me I feel like I picked the better yeah. word. Because okay. you can cut it and oh, do the same right. thing twice. Copies. I'm going to stick with asymmetrical. Genetic copies. <laughs> okay, so we have the last I'm still one. Inking this you are hearing it. You're not inking it, you're gluing you're it. You're right. We're gluing it down to the bottom right, the layout. Am I though? <laughs> okay. And we are going to. Mm -hmm. Are you going to show them first? Okay. Okay. There it is. <laughs> it's just like two okay. corners on a page. From the dusty attic. Oh, scratch that. With the always find me time chipboard. So I've got ink on my hands, so I'm not going to wipe my nose with my finger. I was going to wipe my nose with my. Knuckle. Yeah, so the show on the chipboard. Oh, sorry. The skinny I was thinking chipboard. about mm -hmm. We're going to ink thoroughly again with our brown ink and set aside to dry. So I'm going to leave it in the backer, but still put my little placemat. This is so handy. The plastic bag? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whose idea was this? That was a great idea. Oh, well, we used to do it every time. 
I feel like it was my idea. Well, we never it seems like a great idea. Class mat down. I know. That's advanced thinking. Yeah. Here I am. Look, doing the um, Caitlin technique. What? Oh. There's some skinny letters. Well, you know they cut these yeah. with the laser. Yeah. Um. I was telling that people. Oh. <laughs> but the laser cutter. I mean, it's so intricate, and that's why on the back, if you flip over your chipboard, it's got like these dark, bur yeah, marks, burn marks of where and it's the stuck. brown will get on your fingers too, like where from where. Oh, from right after when it's done. When you're bleeding it out. No, yeah. I mean, like, even right now, like, if you were to pull it out, you get... Mm hmm Okay. Okay, so I inked it. Yeah, we're going to set it aside to dry. Okay. And we are going to get the Weissenaka... Yeah. Weissenaka. Uh-huh. That sounds right. Piece. And with the corner chipboard frame, it's not the corner chipboard, we're going to cut the circle where it meets the corner piece and have two separate pieces. So we're cutting the circle away from the corner. corner. Mm-hmm. Half the battle is getting it out of this bag. And then we're going to ink it with our brown ink. I Don't keep you want to cut it away. first? Yeah, yeah, yes. And it should oh, be, it should be one. Oh, yeah, it's just oh, it's one two. snip. Oh, it's two? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Scratch that. Three, four. Four. Man. Okay. All right. And we're going to ink that with our brown ink. Okay. And then once that's done, we're going to set it aside to dry. What's your arm in that? What, the ink pen? Yeah. What is it? A, okay. I don't know. My favorite shirt. <laughs> I wish they would match your elbows. <laughs> I know I liked the shirt, and I was like, I got elbow pads, but they're not, well, they're all, not, they're not on the elbows. elbows. <laughs> like, I got these long arms or something. <laughs> I do not have long arms, just to let you know. But it looks like I have these long arms. Her elbow pads were at her shoulders. <laughs> she got such long arms. <laughs> Got my finger there for a second. I was like, <laughs> Okay, we're going to set that aside to dry with our... And you don't have to completely cover it. I'm just trying to get most of the white. That way, there's, I'm still allowing, like, that differentiation in the shade. Like the wash look. Yeah. Okay. Set aside to dry. All right. Uh -huh. Now we're going to grab our ephemera, which is already on the table spread out. <laughs> and we are going to select the large map piece that has gold on it. Map? Map. Okay. Large. Let me make sure it's the right way. Yes. Yeah. And we're going to pop dot it at the bottom left corner of the layout, but not letting it completely cover the flower border. About half an inch from the left and about three quarters of an inch from the bottom. But it did cover the word post. Oh, I remember this. At the, the bottom, the word postcard is there. It did cover the word post, but not card. So our post was underneath here and here. And you see card. That was the... Yeah, that could be like... That was the reference. Point of that out. <laughs> Just card. Okay, now we're going to select the large blue document that reads, You de lavender. <laughs> Lavanda. Lavanda. That says grass. <laughs> yeah. And we're going to adhere at the top right of the layout so that it does not cover the flower border at the left edge. It starts from the right after the middle piece. Interesting. That's such a pretty piece. I know. It kind of looks like it goes on this page already. Yeah. It looks straight. I don't know. That was such a... So what that was saying was... See these, how you can see like the postcards are separate. So at the edge of this postcard is where this one, this T starts. starts. Yeah. And then you're lining it up with the edge border of the layout. That was a lot of words for. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Okay. So now from the provided white cardstock, you're gonna use a trimmer and cut a photo mat measuring six and a half by four and a half. Did you mean six and a quarter by four and a quarter? No. Okay. Or did mom cut it wrong? <laughs> now, depending on the size your picture you're gonna put here, you have a big sheet of paper, so you can change out the size a little bit. Oh yeah. Um, just take a look at your instructions to see where your flowers and other embellishments You're not going to look go. at your instructions. Oh, yeah, you're looking at instructions. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Okay. All right. And we are going to chalk the edges with the brown ink. So you can take the ink pad and just... Hold on. I don't think ours does that. Well, because ours is old. You can take the ink pad and just, like, chalk the edge. Um, oh. Okay. But if you want more... I take my blending dauber and just kind of glide along the mm -hmm. edges. Which does a lot more than doing it with the other one. And it's okay that I'm getting my inky fingers on here because my photo is going to cover it up. Because I'm putting my finger in here. Okay. Or, I don't know. Okay, I'm, I'm going to okay pop it. dot it at the middle to lay out horizontally. And this will overlap pieces and that is okay. <laughs> What kind of pieces will it overlap? I don't know. Oh, that blue, the blue card. Oh, yeah, it overlaps the bottom of the blue card a little bit, but that's okay. <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I write that because sometimes I feel like, it's I'd be okay. like, I'd be like, <laughs> I feel like it's not okay. 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 All right. There's the piece. Thank you very much. It's not bad. Right now it's like, yeah, you work with what you got. You got a nice little design there going. But wait, there's more. From our stickers, our chipboard stickers, which is the right there all on your right, yes. Uh -huh. We are going to pop out the small stamp that says France 10. That mm -hmm. postage stamp. The postage stamp, 10 cents. Is that what that meant? Ten? There Because they don't do cent 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 teams, mm -hmm. I think. I Same know. thing. Pretty sure. Okay. All right. What are we doing with it? We are going to adhere at the left side of the layout so it's below the corner piece. That's a good one. That was easy because I already had the adhesive on it, remember? Okay. Okay. This says read before placing, so listen first. <laughs> Oh wait, we're not there yet, scratch that. <laughs> With the separated ink corner piece, the one we cut apart, uh -huh. adhere at the bottom left layout so it is all the way to the corner of the map. Okay. So not on the layout, on the map. So, and I made sure that the bottom of my chipboard here wasn't going past the bottom of my layout. And then over here, it just lined up with the edge. Okay, now we're at the part where you have to listen before you place. Um, with the separated ink circle frame piece that we cut, adhere centered on top of the photo mat. But if you do not already have a photo ready to be placed, you want to hold off on this step until the photo has already been placed or cut to fit the frame. In which case, save the circle for later. We're gonna save the circle for later. Okay, so we're saving it to place our photo later. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to grab the Always Find Me ink. If not, it, it goes, goes right here. <laughs> we're going to grab the inked chipboard piece, the Always Find Me. Okay. And we are going to carefully remove it from the backer. Okay. And if you have already done that, we're going to adhere at the top right of the layout without exceeding the layout edge. But it will overlap the pieces, and that is okay. <laughs> it will overlap the blue piece, and that is okay. <laughs> it's very... 
this delicate. tea right here is. So, were you saying that because I was wiggling it? Try front and back. I don't know what you're saying. I just did my same thing I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> Dusty Attic has some great chipboard pieces. Oh, yeah. We carry them, too. Yeah. And 49 and Market, which also has some great chipboard pieces. But we also have, they have archival board, which is white chipboard. So you can color it with vibrant colors. Oh, anything. Without putting a medium on it to make it white beforehand. So pretty yeah. nifty. Okay. I think I got it all in one piece. Okay. Okay. What am I doing with it? Right here at the top right of the layout without exceeding the layout edge. Oh, yeah. This will overlap pieces and that is okay. Okay. There's hardly, this is one of the, like the least surface space, mm -hmm. surface area to put the glue. We're just seeing what catches here. And that is why the art glitter glue is so fantastic. Because what does put glue on, it sticks. Like, it's, not it's stuck. <laughs> like one time we had to, I think, replace some flowers on the kicks. We didn't have enough of them. And we were like pulling the flower is off and it was so hard like it was taking all the paper with it they were hard to pull up Ooh, it's just like fancy they were stuck. so it goes flush to the top and flush to the right and part of that word thing kind of like wiggled so you just got to make sure it stays straight the whole mm -hmm. time okay there's no extra work from our chipboard stickers, we're going to pop out the pink Eiffel Tower piece on the front. Okay. Oh, that's cute. And we are going to pop dots on the large map piece so it is at the corner of the frame piece as well. So right here, nice. All right, from our uh, Capri Ephemera, which is the paper, mm -hmm. locate large hot air balloon. That's all we gotta say about that piece. <laughs> <laughs> Pop dot at the right of the layout if space allows. Okay. Space, space allows. Allow. <laughs> Because I was thinking, what if they accidentally, like, put stuff a little yeah. too far to the right? Well, they could lay it over their corner piece True. a little bit. It was... But space allowed. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Perfect. Okay. Now, from the Prima Capri Ephemera, again, locate the single blue flower. I mean, butterfly. I don't know why I said flower. Which one is it? No. Oh, I'm sorry. I think it's the chipboard. Oh, oh no, sorry. sorry. The butterfly. Yeah, the butterfly. Perfect. And here at the top of the top left corner chipboard. Oh, man, I got a squeaky chair. So I'm just putting glue down the middle because I'm going to pinch up the left and right wing with my fingernail. Just so it's like a little dimensional. We love doing that. And then I'm just going to adhere it onto that corner chipboard piece. Perfect. And you can see the wings still popped up from where I pinched them. And that makes it look so fantastic. Oh, you were so good. Thank you. Okay. So from the chipboard stickers, uh -huh. we're going to pop out the single blue butterfly on the front. So it looks exactly like the other one we put, the smaller. Mm -hmm. And pop dots to the left of the in that of the title. So the word in that in the title right to the left of those words right to the left mm -hmm. oh to the left <laughs> not right to the left <laughs> okay oh man that's amazing <laughs> from the coastal surf flowers which is the package of flowers we have not opened it's the pink set of flowers good one because i was like i do not remember the name i threw yeah. away one of we're gonna locate two large dark and one large light pink flowers okay 
So that is at the bottom. And we are going to arrange them in a triangle. I added that in there. That's not here. I, <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> and here on top of the bottom right corner, corner chipboard. Okay. Oh, I see. So I didn't want to. I didn't want. I didn't want to do too much explaining <laughs> that one. So I'm gonna put a big dark flower, right at the bottom right of the page, on top of the corner chipboard, and then we wait. And then I'm going to put another dark flower right above it. And then a light, those are big yeah. ones, <laughs> a light flower creating, creating the triangle. Our triangle. Okay. They're going to be like, what the heck are they talking about? I can't see it. Just because it makes a triangle, I mean. Now that we've covered up most of our corner piece. Yeah. That we also spend time, no, it looks good. Yeah. Okay. Don't move. Oh, you gotta lift it? Oh man. Oh yeah. Okay, so see the triangle effect. So that here's the dark about? one that I initially put. Then we put a dark one above it, and then that light one made the triangle yeah. on that one. Yeah. Easy peasy. Yeah. And now that's a very full corner there. I'm testing the limits with this glue here. <laughs> I oh, just okay. stuck it. Alright. Okay, here's a step. Read before placing. So oh. we're gonna listen first. From the Prima Coastal Surf Flowers, which is what we just had. Locate one large dark pink, two large light pink, and three. I'll just wait for you to grab your one large dark pink, uh -huh. two large light pink, mm -hmm. three medium light pink, mm -hmm. two small light pink, mm -hmm. and one small dark pink. Mm -hmm. Is that all of them? Except one. Oh <laughs> man, I was about to say. So all the flowers, except what I have left over, yours might be different, is like a medium light pink flower. Yeah. Okay, use the whole group of selected flowers to create an arrangement on the left side of the photo mat. Some adhere on the photo mat, some adhered on the paper. To match the shape of the center circle frame. Mm -hmm. Oh, do this because only. They're going around. Yeah, do this only if you know your photo will not reach over there. Right. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, bag these flowers or set aside separately. With to your save frame. For another photo mm -hmm. is adhered. For when yes. it's here. Yeah. So because it's covering up, like <sighs> the end of the photo mat ends. Where is it? Like here in the middle. So you want to save these until you have the photo there because it's going to cover that area. And you want it to match that circle that you're yeah, saving. Yeah, shape. Okay. If you're not saving, so Go ahead and do it. let me describe this a little bit. Let me see. Okay. If you're not saving, I see one, two, three, actually four large making that shape. And you might want to place them before you glue them. See one, two, three, four. Yeah, four large, and then outside one, two, three, four, five other ones out here, and then just adding that small one at the bottom, like a bonus. It looks like because I see one wave, a second yeah, wave. Yeah, but you don't want them to be one. like square. You want them to be rounded out to make them look nice. Oh yeah, fluff them up. Yeah, is that what you mean? Up. Yeah. Okay. So since I set my frame aside, I'll set the flowers with the frame. Yes, so we'll get to those when we put our photo mm -hmm. down. Okay, so step 18, from Say It in Crystals, which are beautiful crystals, we are going to select two small crystals and place on top of the left corner, the top left corner chipboard. Okay. Take the glue with you. Yeah. No, I'm telling the crystal. Oh. <laughs> Put that guy right there. That, no, okay. <laughs> what? Was he not good enough? He, he's not cooperating. Okay, there oh, he goes. Okay. okay. And we're gonna grab one small one, Crystal, and put it as the I in the word life from the title. Okay. Okay. Um, three large pink, two small pink, one large dark blue, and one small blue crystal mm -hmm. arranged on the bottom left corner chipboard. Okay. So just put them around the chipboard as you would like. That's just to give some color variation in this.
Okay, and then two, the okay. and then go two ahead. are gonna go at the bottom right of our, yeah, just wherever. And then the rest of them you're gonna save for your circle frame piece. The circle piece you have to circle. Oh yeah. So here is I put one for the eye in that title. There's two I just kind of stuck them near the center. For down here, here's two I put them on the outside. Mm -hmm. And the rest of the ones described, they're just a bunch of different colored large ones. And I have a medium one down here going on. There's bubbles there where these perfectly fit. So yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. And then the rest of the crystals you can use for around the circle frame. Piece, yeah. See that? Just on those spots that are like made just for the crystals. Yeah, yeah. It's perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that is it. Really? Oh, yeah. That's, wow. that's our page two. I got lots of, you were smushing all my leftovers over. I'm just, I'm just them. scooting them over. There's so many leftovers. I have yeah. a lot of flowers, a lot of ephemera. And you have extra pages. We didn't even you? touch the back of the chipboard stickers. And there's chipboard stickers on the front. There's more flowers on this thing. There's those three bonus sheets. Oh, yeah, you got the three bonus kit. sheets. You can, make, sakes. you can make cards. You can make another layout. Yes. You can make probably two more pages because yeah. there's three bonus sheets. Yeah. And, and you, you got, have a corner left, too. Yeah, from the chipboard yeah. corner and some more white paper. You can make another yeah. photo mat. So that is so much more inspiration for you. So we hope you thoroughly enjoyed this beautiful. You can use that one. Oh, okay. Really this beautiful two-page layout today. Is that right? <laughs> <It's> <laughs> okay, I yeah. saw that. Um, and I do want to. So if you like this and you like similar kits, yeah. you might want to join our virtual kit club. You get two kits every month for a great low price. Okay, what are you doing over there? I, I don't know. Showing them okay, it. and I want to show you the next class is the thinking of you two page layout, okay? And that came from this whole title of you that says yeah. thinking of you. And it's very nice. We went with lots of, my mom made this one too, lots of toned down neutrals, not so bright and crazy. Mm -hmm. So um, this is a great kit coming up in two weeks. Yes. So go ahead and get online and get yours ordered before they're out. Any, go ahead. Oh, no, that's it. Any other questions, leave a comment below in the comments. Otherwise, we will see you in two weeks. Yes. Bye. Bye.